What is going on everybody? My name is Insomnia Campbell and welcome back to Mermaid Swamp. Dun 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 Oh shit. Okay, right. Anyway, seriousness time. Uh what the heck? <laughs> Monster. No, that just looks like Yuka. No. Wait. It's just a corpse. A woman's corpse. How the heck did we get in? It was locked, wasn't it? Uh, a corpse? You liar! Something that huge and gross can't be. It wasn't a corpse, you rotten? It's not an ordinary corpse. It's preserved with 80 poser. Uh, 80 poser? Isn't that like, um, formaldehyde or something? S -s -s Say again? It's a non decaying corpse kept from open air and germs. The body hardens up and won't fall apart. Now I get it. I see what that mermaid legend is all about. Oh, and that's what the note was earlier on, saying that they brought something back from one of the other countries it came back from. It was this chemical um, recipe for this stuff. You do? Why is it we don't believe in the legend? Because... Of course mermaids don't exist. That's right. There's no such thing as a mermaid, so we won't believe a mermaid legend. What if it wasn't a mermaid? Huh? What if it wasn't a mermaid in that legend, but just a regular woman? What I'm about to say is just a guess, but I think if we were to fit the mermaid legend into reality that we can believe, it would go like this. A man did abduct, laying upon the seashore, a mermaid of clear skin and scales, and thereupon did she live within his fish preserve. A man living in the mountains finds a beautiful girl on the beach, maybe a shell diver, or just going for a swim. The man falls for her and abducts her to his home. He fell in love with her in the water, so he has her live in a fish tank to recreate it. That's really messed up. The muddy swamp water brought horrible swelling to her fair skin, Tore from her her scales and devastated her melodic voice. The fool's hopes were in vain, and he brought only death upon her. Always living in water drops the girl's body temperature, so she dies. Must have felt like being strangled with floss. Her body froze, and she wasn't allowed to leave the water. So, that's how this corpse was made. But wait, why leave the corpse like that? And why the preservation thing? And why are there five of them? If you let a corpse soak in water for a month, it'd normally be falling apart by then. It's hard to get the right circumstances for preservation. But these corpses are barely damaged at all. They were purposely preserved right as the body started swelling. Preserved? Purposefully? You found those old documents, right? About a medicine to stop germs from spreading, yeah, see? What if it was for making these preserved corpses? Oh. The plumbing here probably goes to the boiler room. That's why all that was made, to continuously pump germicide into all these tanks. Ah, that's why there was so much in the boiler room. They loved them, even bloated and ugly like this. In fact, perhaps this is what they loved most. Love these corpses? There's some strange people out there, and they have some strange preferences. They know better than to talk, and no one else will ask. Perhaps that man couldn't let the girl go after she died. He couldn't watch her rot, so he took desperate measures to keep her like this. But maybe that eventually became his goal. For the depths of that mermaid's wrath, we suffer the loss of many a young girl. And this is why. What do you mean? I did think it was strange. The mermaid's curse, taking girls from the village? That's targeting the wrong people. Just one wasn't enough, I bet. The one the legend was the first. And since there are five tanks here, these women are Ophelia's to the Sh Sushita men. They admire the sight of a woman drowning in the water. To the point of being the ones to drown them. That's crazy! 
These women were abducted for that? Ah, so that's why the bad ending Sitaro drowns Rin. Because the Sushi it's the Sushida men who possessed him, right? I think so, maybe. That makes sense, I guess. But if this is the truth of the mermaid, I don't get it. Why do they share the secret with the public? There's no point creating a legend that exposes it all. What the heck? That was fast. Guess I'll read that in a minute. The woman! The Sushida woman! Huh? If the male relatives were off stealing girls, wouldn't the Sushida woman find out about it? They absolutely loathed the men, but couldn't stop it. They were frightened of being made mermaids themselves. So they made the mermaid legend to keep people away. Then at least no outsiders would fall victim. I see. The, moment the, the music stopped. That seems to sum up this whole mermaid legend. But what does that tell us, really? We don't know how to help Yuka or how to get out of here. Let's head back, Rin. Seems finding a map and getting out of here comes first. Oh! <laughs> Why did you go by yourself, man? Return me. Oh gosh. <laughs> Stop it, please. I don't know where you even came from. I can't return you there. Let us be free already. Return me. To the earth. To the earth. Ah, they want to be buried. That's right. You're not mermaids, just normal women. Having this hideous appearance, you must hate it. We gotta break them open. I'll do what I can. There's a hammer right here. An axe leans on the wall. Oh, sorry, an axe. My bad. Okay. I'm gonna make a new save. Um, there's a bottle of liquid on the table. Oh, there's dynamite. It says detonator. Super old machine. Who knows if it's still usable. Dynamite. That's it. If we use this, then we can end it once and for all. You want to do what? Fill in this cavern? Here. This says detonator on the side, right? Think that'll do the trick? He's like, alright, you've gone crazy. <laughs> the fuse is way too short. There's no time to run, so you'll be buried alive. Now stop being stupid. But I want to do something about this. If it were me, I wouldn't want to look like that forever. They want to be returned to nature. For someone to save them. Please help me out, Sataru. No way. No way I'm letting you uh, <laughs> cave yourself, bury yourself alive. But you'll do it no matter what I say, won't you? Ugh, really never listen. I managed to attach some extra fuse, but it'll be 10 second tops before it blows. We have to get to the surface before then. Rin, you wait up above. I'll be here too. I suggested it, so I'm not leaving it to you. Fine. But then you both have to climb the ladder and that slows you down even more. Run like hell when I light it, okay? Let's go. What about the crack in the wall? <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Ow. That was loud. Wow, that's a big hole. The ground's caved in. I should fill up the cavern. Rin? What's wrong? Were you hurt? Huh? She's crying. Ah, tears. Ugh, disgusting. I never cry. Ugh. They're not my tears. They're warm. They're the girls. I just say I like that jacket. <laughs> this tower's got style. I've one just like it actually too. 
Well, I wonder what happens next. Give my jacket back, please.